Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with another reaction to Grassroots Midnight Confessions. And I think this is on a show called American Bandstand. This was a request by Debbie. Thank you so much for this request and donation. And this will be another discovery for me because uh, this will be my first Grassroots song. So hey, uh, let's jump into this. Are we getting a little pre-interview here? All right. 1967 and the respect record by Aretha Franklin was not the number one record of the years, like 10 or 11. Do you have any idea what the number one record was? Uh, <laughs> no. How old were you 10 years ago? Um, seven. Seven? Oh. How old were you 10 years Nine. ago? Nine. Better, better. <laughs> the number one record in 1967 was a song by the box ops called The Letter. In 1968, the big headline of the day was Jacqueline Onassis marries uh, Jacqueline Onassis. That's what I'm not. Jackie Kennedy married Mr. Onassis. I want to show you a picture of some guys and see if you recognize them. As if by magic. Picture. That's what they look like back then. Oh, what a mangy looking group they were. Oh, but time has been kind to you men. You told me, Rob, you told me this is the 19th time you've been on one of our shows. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. Good friends, fine musicians. Please greet the Grassroots. To such a great great loving start hey your gentle soft motion the sound of your footsteps you know in my midnight confession i'm gonna i'll tell the world i love you i'll tell all the world that i love you i said hey that's a sweet song of course the title midnight confessions it does imply something's gonna be confessed there's a little gold ring you wear on your hand it makes me understand there's another one before me Ooh. You might be uh, dealing with a married woman here. Oh, that flips the script. Oh, hey. Did not see that one coming. Hey, this is awesome, man. The grassroots. Okay, really great voice. And we get, man, that happens so much right now when I'm discovering all these great groups from the 60s and the 70s that... You know, they all could play instruments and they can almost a lot of them can also sing. You know, there's not like a one trick pony kind of thing, you know, like not even only doing backing vocals, but also taking leads and stuff. And it's wow, you don't do you, you, you definitely might have that still, but you know, it none really comes to mind uh, on top of the uh, top of the mind right now. But damn, that it was like much more common. Uh, Back then. R E S P E C T, right? Hey, like they mentioned in the beginning of the of the <laughs> of the video, Respect by Aretha Franklin. And that was not the number one song that year, it seems. Look, we learned something new again.
Hey, that's awesome, man. And then, you know, the, the drummer who's singing and drumming at the same time, which is also incredible, has a really warm voice too, man. And the drum and the bass in this song is really, really good. Dennis Provider, Joel Martin back there behind drums, Rob Grill. You got to introduce me to your new friend. This is Reggie Knighton. Reggie, very nice oh, to I see you, sir. Oh, I got to go back and listen to the names again. Dennis Provisor, Joel Larson back there behind drums, Joel? Rob Grill. You got to introduce me to your new friend. This is Reggie Knighton. Reggie, very nice to see you, sir. Have they told you a lot? Have they told you a lot about me? Don't say. Hi, mom. No, 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 no. Did they say anything good? They told me. Notice how he's evaded this answer no. entirely. He's definitely, they told he's me definitely he the greatest dodgy. guy around. And anything else? A cult hero among young people. Anything else? You look like a policeman. <laughs> 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 you dirty run. How many hit records? Why are you interrogating me, man? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty run. How many hit records have you guys had in 10 years? 27 chart records. 27? Yeah. When you go and you play in an amusement park or a saloon or a concert or whatever, or wherever amusement you play, park. I mean, doesn't it get a little tiring doing the same thing? I uh, know. You get paid for it, too. <laughs> the man has always been flat out, honest, yeah, straight. Yeah. Said, what is this you have? I don't even want to know what you have on back there. How do you, how do you amuse yourselves? When I wear you... platform shoes. No, that's the only change, though. You all look good, really. <laughs> you look good, too, Dick. I feel fine, and I'm happy. I wasn't too choked up to know that you've been here 19 times. <laughs> The only, uh, you know, the only man who holds a, a better record than that is Freddie Cannon. Freddie has oh, done right. about 110 of our shows. What'd you do now? You've changed labels. Where are you now? We're at Haven Records. And is this your first uh, single out? Yeah, we just finished an album, which will be out in October. Does it have a sparkling title or anything we can remember? Called The Grassroots. Gee, that's the usual, really brilliant. Joel, it's nice to see you. You're looking well. Where did you rip that thing off? Well, let's see. If the uh, new, it's the French look, you see. The French look. I don't, it looks to me like uh, the heat is here. Hey, they're, they're waving frantically at me. What is the new song called? Called Mama Sita. And where did it come from? Did you write it? No, Barry Mann and Cynthia Well wrote it. Ooh, you're in good company, yeah. Gentlemen, we'll do it. Mama Sita, ladies and gentlemen, the grassroots. So Mama Sita is another song, and I'm hearing 27 songs on the charts. Uh, so there's a, a lot to explore there, too. Man, I need more than 24 hours in a day. That's my midnight confession. Hey, this was a great song. I really love when they were, you know, you have multiple people singing together, then they take a part for themselves, and uh playing the instruments at the same time it's just it's a joy to see and listen to and uh oh you know that twist in the story i did not see that one coming uh but you know with the title i must uh you know i had to be on my toes and i was like oh yeah that's a sweet love song and then they hit me with the golden ring around the finger hey gold finger another legend that we are exploring on the channel right now this has been fun thank you so much for introducing me to the grassroots let me know your favorite grassroots song and thank you for being here have a great day goodbye